Hello and welcome to another video in a series of tutorials where I will be showing you how to resolve error messages. In this particular video, I'll be showing you how to resolve the error message module is not found. So what I'll be doing is I'll be first running you a piece of code showing you how it should normally look. And then what I'll be do is recreate this error message module is not found. And then what I'll do is I'll go about resolving the error message. So it goes back to a normal running piece of code. So by the end of this, hopefully you should not only have an idea of how to resolve it, but you should have an idea of what causes it. And so when you come across this problem again, if you do, you will know exactly what the problem is and then go about resolving it yourself. Now I've had lots of comments in my videos and my channel um, about this error message that people keep getting them. And so hopefully what I can do is I can help a lot of you at once with this and more people who have not yet commented. So let's get started. The first thing that we can do is let's run a piece of code and I'll show you how it should normally look because what we're going to do is going to about break it essentially. Cool. So this is a, we're going to be using the pandas module here. We're going to create this error message module not found with this pandas module. And this is the piece of code. So what I've done is I've created a data frame manually. Um, and this is what it should normally look like. So you have sort of a basic table that's created. And so what we can do now is we can now go about um, getting this error message. So what module is not found? So before we go into creating this error message, what you've got to understand is the basis of Python is that it's modular and it runs on sort of what you can do is you can import various modules that are created by different people. So it's very much a community thing, Python. And so essentially what module is not found is, is that when you're importing a module, then simply put your Python shell or whatever you're reading it, um, doesn't have that module installed. So you'll get a module not found error. So when you're looking at this piece of code, it's a very short piece of code, but the error message will happen right at the start. And what it will do, it's a critical error message. So uh, no other piece of code will run. Once it finds this module that cannot be found, the code will exit and it will say module not found. Okay, so let me show you. So if I go into my package manager that I have in my Visual Studio and You'll see on my right here that I've actually got a list of all the modules that are installed. And you can see here on the right that Pandas is one of them here. Pandas is an older version actually, but um, it will still work. It will still produce this error message. So before we ran the code, it worked quite well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uninstall this module. Here we go. Elevate now. Let's make this happen. So it's uninstalling. You can see here down here, it's uninstalling my pandas module successfully uninstalled. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this piece of code again and we should get an error message module not found. Here we go. This is exactly the error message, which you're probably getting or something similar. It says no module named pandas. And so this is essentially saying module not found and that's because what i've done and that's different to last time and the only thing that i've done and you've seen it here is that i've uninstalled the pandas module so that pandas module although it can be installed it's not loaded and installed into the python shell yet and so in order to get it into your python shell and install that module so it can be used and so you can get rid of this error message so i'm going to get rid of it now um is to basically run pip install and then pandas in this case or whatever the name of the, the module is. So I can do the same thing again. So I can run here. This is kind of like my terminal on the right. Pip install pandas. 
So if if um, you're wondering what I'm using, I'm using Visual Studio. And Visual Studio is um, one I recommend if you're learning. Uh, you can use Visual Studio Code. It's a little bit more complex, it's only a tiny bit though, but it's, it's actually got a really nice user interface as well. I'm actually thinking of moving to Visual Studio Code recent, soon. Um, but I'm using Visual Studio and there is a difference between the two. So what I'm doing now is I'm installing pandas again. So I run pip install pandas and I am now going through the process of installing pandas. Here we go, successfully installed pandas 1.2.4. Now the interesting thing is um, I'm not actually gonna restart my shell. I'm actually just gonna run it straight off because pandas seems to work like that. So if I now run this code again, we should get it running correctly. Here we go, you see? Last time, the only thing that's changed is me uninstalling and installing the Pandas module again. And we've gone from a working piece of code to a broken piece of code saying module not found, back again to a working piece of code. And we no longer have that message saying module not found. So just remember that Python is very modular in the way it works. It does have inbuilt functions, but that will depend on the shell that you're using. And so really, in order to make maximal use of Python, remember, remember to use the import function to import these modules and make sure they're imported using pip install and then whatever the module name is. And one thing to be aware of is that what you're doing, the pip install and then the module name may be slightly different to what everyone else calls the module name. So just be wary of that fact. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please do check out my other sort of videos as well, particularly if you're getting error messages as well that are slightly different. I hope this is a whole series where I'm going through error messages one after the other once I get enough commentary essentially. So comment below on any other messages that you get and I'll bound to do another one later on. Um, please do subscribe and like to my channel and please do share it, share my channel to others if you found it useful. Thank you very much for watching.